Hello my saxophone playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson, I want to give you a pro tip for how to improve the dexterity in your fingers so that you can start playing faster on the saxophone. This is a super simple concept that I learned years ago when I was studying at the Royal Irish Academy of Music and it's helped me so much with improving my technique on the saxophone. This actually works on all different instruments as well, but I want to show you on the sax today and I want to show you using a scale okay you know that I talk about scales a lot on this channel I've shown you lots of different scales step by step on the saxophone with close-ups of the fingerings you can check all of those lessons out and I also have my saxophone scale cheat sheets which you should definitely download go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash scales and you can actually download all the different cheat sheets for major scales, minor scales, pentatonic scales, blues scales, and I give you all the letter names, so you don't even have to read the music, so you can just look at the letter names and start to figure out the fingerings yourself, because I also include a fingering chart inside that PDF as well. So you can download that now, it's absolutely free, there's a link in the description of this video. So I'm going to use the G major scale to show you how I improve my technique. So the idea is I'm going to show you how to play the G major scale starting slow, like this. And eventually, using this technique I'm going to show you, I'm going to help you build up speed like this. So the obvious way to build up speed like this is to just start slow and then bit by bit with a metronome, increase the speed so that you can gradually get up to that speed that I just showed you. And that's a great exercise. Use a metronome, start slowly, and build up speed. However, there's another way to start improving the dexterity in your fingers, and it's called the long short, short long technique. And the way this works is that you play one note long, and then you play the next note in the scale short, then you play the next note in the scale long, short, long, short, etc, etc. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to use G major again, and we're going to do the long short technique, where we're going to start on the note G, make it long, then we're going to play the note A short, then we're going to play the note B long, etc, etc, as we go up the scale. Now if you want to follow along but you don't know the notes of G major, go ahead and download my G major fingerings at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash G major. I give you the note names, I give you the fingerings, I even give you the sheet music so you can start playing and practicing this G major scale offline as well. So let me show you the long short technique using G major. So we're starting on G and that note's going to be long, the next note is A and we're going to play that short, and the next note is in B and we're going to play that long. So the first three notes are going to sound like this. Okay, so we play G long, A short, and then B long. Now we're going to keep going, and we're going to play C short, and then D long. We keep going, we're going to play E short, and then F sharp long. Now we're going to play G short, which is the next note in the scale, but this time we're going to go back down to F sharp. So G is going to be short, and F sharp is going to be long. And then we continue down the scale. E is going to be short, D is going to be long, C is going to be short, B is going to be long, A is going to be short, and then G is going to be long. And so doing the simple technique of long, short, long, short across the G major scale or any scale for that matter actually does some amazing things with your technique and the dexterity in your fingers. Now it's important when you're doing this technique that you're not tonguing any of the notes. This is an advanced technique that you should be doing without tonguing and you should be playing legato the entire time. That's because when you tongue the notes you're actually masking your technique in a way. You're masking the way your fingers move. And to really improve the technique and 
and dexterity in your fingers, you need to lift that mask, lift the mask of tonguing every note, so you can really see how good your technique is with your fingers. You're now isolating the dexterity in your fingers so that you're able to transition from one note to another smoothly and efficiently. And so that's why this long short technique is so great. You're really focusing in on the dexterity in your fingers. Now it doesn't matter how fast you're doing this, you don't need to do this to a metronome, you just need to make the first note long and the second note short. And you can make the first note as long as you want and you can make the second note as short as you want. The shorter you can get that short note, the more you're gonna increase the dexterity in your fingers. Now we're gonna do the opposite on the same scale, but we're gonna do the short long technique. So we're gonna start with a short note, then go to a long note, then short, then long. So we're doing the opposite of what we did before. Let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna start with G, which is gonna be short, A is gonna be long, B is going to be short, C is going to be long. So the first four notes are going to sound like this. Okay, so now we're increasing the dexterity in between those short notes. So from B to C, we're increasing the dexterity in between those two fingers. From G to A, we're increasing the dexterity in between those two fingers because we're playing the G note short and we're playing the B note short. Now we're going to keep going. We're going to play D short, E long, F sharp short, G long. And now we're going to go back down. This time we're going to do F sharp short, E long, D short, C long, B short, A long, and then G short. So the whole thing sounds like this. So now we're doing the opposite. We're doing short, long, short, long, starting on G. If you do these two techniques on this scale, it's gonna make it so much easier for you to transition from one note to the next. So when you go back to playing the G major scale, it's gonna sound so much better. So you're gonna notice when you go back to playing the scale straight without doing the long, short, short, long technique, it's gonna sound more even, it's gonna feel easier to play, and the transitions between each note are gonna be a little bit smoother. And you're also gonna notice that you're gonna be able to play faster on this scale as well, just because you practice these two techniques. So as you speed up, starting slow and getting faster, you're gonna notice that it stays even and you're able to get the scale at a faster speed. So I'm gonna play the G major scale three times, slow, medium, medium and fast. The reason I can play at these different speeds is because I've worked on this long short, short long technique on this scale many many times and so now the dexterity in my fingers between each of the notes of the G major scale has become a lot smoother it's easier to transition to each note and now I can play it a lot faster so try this technique at home pick a scale apply the long short short long technique try to make the short notes as short as possible and then go back to playing it normally go back to playing it slow and then start to build up speed gradually and you're going to notice that it's a lot easier to play now. So that's all I wanted to teach you today. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this lesson has helped you with improving the dexterity in your fingers and helped you to play faster on the saxophone. If you want me to go deeper into this technique and other techniques that will help you to play faster on the sax, please let me know and just make your suggestions in the comments section below this video. Don't forget to download the saxophone scale cheat sheets. They're completely free. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash scales and I even give you a full fingering chart for every note on the sax that you can use to figure out all the different scales in Western music using my cheat sheets. Please like this video if you found it helpful and please subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to get weekly updates on when I put out free lessons just like this. I'm always putting out new lessons about scales, about technique, about how to improve your tone. I also give you lessons on how to play songs step by step on the saxophone. It's all on this channel so please subscribe if you want to get more lessons like this. Alright my friend, I hope this was helpful. Until next time, 
happy playing.